Over to the ongoing row between India and Maldives. Indian High Commissioner to Maldives and other diplomats are currently at the Maldives Foreign Ministry's office. They are believed to be there to discuss the presence of Indian military personnel in the country. Last month, Maldives President Moizu had asked the Indian government to withdraw its troops from the island nation. In the latest, the Maldivian president has proposed March 15th as the deadline for Indian troops to leave the country. There are around 70 Indian military personnel in the Maldives who maintain New Delhi-sponsored radar stations and surveillance aircraft. Indian warships help patrol Maldives' exclusive economic zone and India assists in disaster response and has helped build a naval dockyard there. On the other hand, President Muizu, after returning to Mali on Saturday after a five-day state visit to China, said he will reduce dependency on certain countries when it comes to health, medical services. This is being seen as an expression of frustration against India, an outcome of the recent diplomatic row. Diplomatic tensions with New Delhi flared after three of Muizu's junior ministers reportedly used derogatory comments for Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a social media post earlier this month. They were later suspended. Meanwhile, in a rather surprising outcome, Maldivian Democratic Party candidate Adam Azim has won the mayoral elections in Mali. Election results are being seen as a major setback for Maldivian President Mohamed Muizu, who vacated the seat less than two months after his ascendancy to the presidency. In a post on social media platform X, MDP leader Abdullah Shahid congratulated Azim, saying that the capital city has said a categorical no to President Muizu and his policies within just 58 days in office. The MDP is headed by pro-India former President Mohamed Suli, who was defeated by Muizu, a pro-China leader in the presidential elections. Thank you, Robert, from the to give us more insights, we are now joined by retired Captain Alok Mansal, Director, India Foundation and Naval Expert. Welcome to the broadcast, Mr. Alok. Maldives Thank President Muizu's party has lost the mayoral elections in Mali. I would like to ask you, are the results a reflection of the recent outbursts of his party members against India? See, firstly, we need to be very clear. Malay is very, very significant as far as Maldives is concerned. Almost one third of the electorates actually reside in the capital city, Malay. That's where bulk of the activities take place, bulk of the political movements start. And in fact, when President Moizu won the election, he had won overwhelmingly in Malay. In fact, he was the mayor of Malay, and that's the position which propelled him to presidency. Now, within 58 days, losing a place which he was occupying, losing a seat which he was occupying for a long time, shows that people are disillusioned with his policies. And I think uh, during this particular period, this two months, I think uh, his policies have put Maldives on a confrontational mode with India. And Maldivian population, by and large, depend on India for their extra needs, needs of health, education, even tourism and other requirements, they have been dependent on India. And they have good memories of India helping them in times of crisis, be it shortage of drinking water, be it uh, attempted takeover by militant groups from outside the country. They have invariably been supported by India and India has maintained uh, uh, its support consistently. It has not tried to interfere anywhere in the internal politics of uh, Maldives, but has provided succor to population whenever they have been in crisis, be it tsunami or be it any other crisis, even after that when drinking water shortage was there. Right. As you rightly pointed out, the candidate of the pro-India opposition Maldivian Democratic Party won the elections. Do you think that amid the diplomatic tensions with India and tourism businesses taking a beating after the comments made by the members of his party, is there a wave of resentment against Muizu's party? See, tourism is very critical. We need to understand that in Maldives' case, bulk of their foreign exchange reserves come from tourism. Tourists actually employ a large chunk of the 
provide revenues for the government and tourism has been a very very significant sector and indian tourists were the largest in recent times and indian tourists cancelling their visits to maldives is going to be a big setback to the economy uh, president moise during his visit to china has actually requested china to enhance the number of tourists to maldives uh, but one must understand one can't go against the dictates of geography india is just next door china is very very far off and chinese tourists will have to spend a considerably large amount to reach maldives uh, whereas indian tourists it was uh, the cost of going to maldives was much lesser so it was much easier for indian tourists to visit maldives and it was actually a favorite destination for the rich and famous in india to visit maldives and uh, now with these cancellations coming up i think uh, the tourism business is going to be affected and that would have put immense pressure on the people who are directly or indirectly dependent on tourism and consequently we are seeing an implication we are seeing the fall of president moizu in uh, male right we have seen tourism businesses being hit after moizu's party members in fact made those statements we have seen many of the indians boycotting mal a right now and they have withdrawn most of their uh, bookings but i also like to ask you another question also currently we're looking at march 15th as the deadline for uh, indian troops to be withdrawn from the island nation how is this being seen by india at this point of time because what we're learning right now is that indian officials are currently at the foreign ministry in maldives at this point in time is this the work of china in the making because we had seen a state visit recently by moizu to china see president moizu during his electioneering itself had made an anti india rhetoric and i think he had made this a campaign uh, promise that he will ask indian troops to go back we need to be very clear that there are no indian troops there are just about 88 indian defense personnel who are actually there to maintain surveillance radars and aircraft that have been given by india to maldives uh, this is essential because maldives is a very very small country tiny country with a huge exclusive economic zone its maritime uh, zones are so large that it is virtually impossible it is physically impossible for maldives to keep them under surveillance and there was a time when there were pirates who had actually started moving into maldives this had become a favorite place for non state actors try scouting for safe havens and that's when i think india uh, provided this support to the maldives and i think these people have been there trying to support and help maldivians keep their areas under surveillance now that prime uh, president so uh, moizu had asked them to be withdrawn by march 15th i'm sure government of india would be negotiating and telling them what are going to be the implications of withdrawing them uh, let's see how it uh, pans out uh, what are the discussions go on because if these people are withdrawn there will be a serious compromise to maldives security but it will not only be as compromise to maldives security but it will it could pose a threat to the regional security as well right. because so many uninhabited islands which could become safe havens for non state groups uh, which may want to launch terrorist attacks on countries of the region from that particular area Retired Captain Alok Bansal, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast to give us your insight on this matter. Thank you.